gather together to have the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens his will to make known. The wicked oppressing now cease from distressing. Sing praises to his name, he forgets not his own. Beside us to guide us, our God with us joining, ordaining, maintaining his kingdom divine. So from the beginning, the fight we are winning, the Lord was at our side, all glory divine. We all do extol thee, our leader triumphant, and pray that thou still our defender wilt be. Let thy congregation escape tribulation, thy name be ever praised, O Lord, make us free. Almighty and gracious God, we give you thanks for the fruits of the earth in their season and for the labors of those who harvest them. Make us, we pray, faithful stewards of your great bounty for the provisions of our necessity and the relief of all who are in need. To the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
A reading from Psalm 148. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise the Lord in the heights. Praise the Lord, all you angels. Praise the Lord, you hosts. Praise the Lord, sun and moon, all you shining stars. Praise the Lord, heaven of heavens, and you, waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, who commanded, and they were created, who made them stand fast forever and ever, and gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hell, snow and fog, temptuous wind doing God's will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings and queens of the earth and all peoples, princesses and princes and all rulers of the earth, young people, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for the name of the Lord only is exalted, whose splendor is over all the earth. The Lord has raised up strength for all people, and praise for all who love the Lord. The children of Israel, a people who will follow the Lord. Hallelujah. soil, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Do not fear, you animals of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness are green. The tree bears its fruit, the fig tree and the vine give their full yield. O children of Zion, be glad and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given the early rain for your vindication, 
He has poured down for you abundant rain, the early and the latter rain as before. The threshing floors shall be full of grain. The vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will repay you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent against you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. We shall know that I am in the midst, you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I, the Lord, am your God, and there is no other. And my people shall never again be put to shame. From the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to the span of your life? 
And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes, clothes the grass and the, of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, What will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Come, ye thankful people, come, raise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in, ere the winter storms begin. God, our Maker, doth provide for our wants to be supplied. Come to God's own temple, come, raise a song of harvest home. All the world is God's own field, fruit unto his praise to yield. We and tears together sown, unto joy or sorrow grown. First the blade and then the ear, then the full corn shall appear. Lord, harvest crown that we, wholesome grain and pure may be. Almighty God, giver of all good things, we thank you for the natural majesty and beauty of this land. They restore us, though we often destroy them. Heal us. We thank you for the great resources of the nation. They make us rich, though we oft often exploit them. Forgive us. We thank you for the men and women who have made this country strong. They are models for us though we often fall short of them. Inspire us. We thank you for the torch of liberty which has been lit in this land. It has drawn people from every nation, though we have often hidden from its light. Enlighten us. We thank you for the faith we have inherited and all its rich variety. It sustains our life, though we have been faithless again and again. Renew us. Help us, O Lord, to finish the good work here begun. Strengthen our efforts to blot out ignorance and prejudice and to abolish poverty and crime. And hasten the day when all our people with many voices in one united chorus, will glorify your holy name. Amen. For the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the skies, for the love which from above over and around us lies. Lord of all to thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the duty of each hour, of the day and of the night, Heal and bell and tree and flower, 
sun and moon and stars of night. Lord, of all to Thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the joy of human love, brother, sister, parent, child, friends on earth and friends above, for all gentle thoughts and mild. Lord, of all to Thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that You have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this earth, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends, and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to life in your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your Spirit, that we may know Christ and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places, may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Mm -hmm.